Hello! Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. This is the first video I've made, so I'm looking to use this channel as a way to stay a little more motivated with creating artwork and also just to share my process and I think it would be fun just to make videos while I'm painting. inspiration for this painting from an artist that I follow. Her name is Carrie Rogers. Um, I'll link her username somewhere down below or on the screen somewhere. And she's a scientific illustrator, which is something that I'm interested in pursuing as a career in the future, so that's part of the reason that I follow her. I also just love her work. And due to the social distancing, she's been posting a prompt for people to draw or paint every week. Last week I missed the first prompt, which I believe it was a mollusk shell. Um, but this week I saw her post and it was blackberries and so I decided that I would join in and I've never been that motivated to paint or draw botanical art so I thought that this prompt would be the perfect starting point for me to like test that side of art especially if scientific illustration is something I want to pursue in the future. I thought that this prompt would give me the option to explore like developing those skills a little bit more so that's something I definitely need to work on if I do want to pursue this as a serious career. So because I've never really been that motivated to paint plants, I kind of had to force myself to start this. However, once I got the initial sketch done, I decided that I was going to film the process because I thought it might be fun to film a YouTube video and actually make a video because I've been wanting to for a while. And once I started, I kind of just got lost in this painting and I finished it in about five or six hours. It did take me the course of two days just because my camera died. Um, and then once it was recharged, it was dark out, so I had to wait until the next morning when the sun was out so the lighting was all okay. And I started this painting actually during one of the Zoom calls for my class now because all of our classes have been moved online. And so it was my plant anatomy class that I started this painting in, so I thought it was kind of funny. that I'm really grateful for this little challenge that Carrie's been doing. It's really gotten me out of the mindset of like knowing that I need to start doing more scientific related artwork but really kind of being almost like afraid or just not knowing how to go about doing that. This prompt gave me the little push of here's a subject and this is what you're going to draw or paint this week rather than me trying to go out and find my own subject which it can just be a little daunting switching up whatever you're whatever you're used to painting i usually paint um like portraits and I, I love painting people but trying to go and paint maybe an animal or for example blackberries is something that i probably would never have done on my own and so this just kind of gave me the little like leg up and i had so much fun painting it and i actually have plans to get some more smaller canvases and maybe just do a little series of little studies
happy with the way that this piece turned out. Obviously there are things that I definitely know I need to work on. For example, the leaves, I'm not too happy with the way that they turned out. But as far as my first plant oil painting, I am not that upset with the way that it turned out. I think it could have gone a lot worse. Obviously there's things um, with my work that I see that I think any artist sees with their own work. Just little details that maybe you wish you had rendered differently or spent more time developing this aspect or maybe not approached it in this certain way. But I know that those skills and knowing how to approach things and just seeing the piece in a different way, that'll all develop over time and with practice. So this is the final piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that it was interesting to watch and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!